In San Diego County, the white population is shrinking, but it still makes up the largest racial and ethnic group. Latinx people are the second largest group. That's according to new demographic data from the U.S. Census. Overall, the state and the country are becoming increasingly diverse, with California ranking as the second most diverse state behind Hawaii. Across the country, the white population is shrinking and the multiracial population has almost quadrupled since the last census in 2010. But tracking these types of demographic changes is difficult because race and ethnicity were counted differently in 2020. Nicholas Jones is the director of race and ethnic research for the U.S. Census. He says it's not an apples to apples comparison. It is important to note that these comparisons between the 2020 census and 2010 census race data should be made with caution taking into account the improvements we have made to the Hispanic origin and race questions, data processing, and the ways we code what people tell us. Researchers and community members also worry about the accuracy of the data. Nancy Maldonado is the president and CEO of the Chicano Federation here in San Diego. She says Latinos could be undercounted. One of the questions that we got a lot when we were doing outreach is, why do I have to check the white box? Um, and, and that definitely threw people off. And I think some of the early results that we've seen come back from the census revealed that a lot of people actually didn't answer that question. Census officials have repeatedly said the data is accurate. The numbers will now be used by states, counties and cities to draw new district boundaries for future elections. But the California Citizens Redistricting Commission isn't able to start drawing new maps quite yet. So says Encinitas resident Patricia Senai, one of the commissioners. We're waiting for the statewide database to kind of, you know, prepare the current data that we received today. And that's the data that will be used not only by the state redistricting efforts, but by local and, and, and county redistricting efforts. Sinai expects the commission to start drafting maps by October in preparation for California's 2022 election. In the meantime, they're holding public meetings to hear community voices, not just look at numbers. Christina Kim, KPBS News.